welcome to Next Level Toys. We thought we'd do something super interesting for y'all today. Something that I haven't really noticed on YouTube that people do, but these are from my childhood. These are the cars that I took a hammer to and just totally beat the holy crap out of. I have not went through this box in over 25 years since I was a kid, literally like 10, 12 years old. This is my childhood and we're going to review them right now. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. We have a old road champs Jeep. Besides being smashed a little, it's actually not bad shape considering what I put these things in for. Uh, we have a piece of an ambulance. From, this is a matchbox. What's left of it? Uh, this is a definitely another road champions. Big four by four truck. See how the paint has worn out. I left them in the rain a lot of times. This is actually from uh, 1993 Road Champions. It's a Pepsi truck. I put it in here because it's a, it was an oblong vehicle. It's actually in really good shape considering. I'm going to actually put this into another part of my collection. Here's the old Hot Wheel car. 1983 but it's late 80s because that's when I played with it this is a color changer I ripped the top off of it made it a t-top uh, this is actually an older super fast matchbox car I painted it red chopped off the top of it and made it a convertible This is a Matchbox Excavator, 1980. It's actually not in too bad a shape, except missing the shovel. How about a four-wheeler? This is a Hot Wheel four-wheeler. From the late 80s, 1990. It's missing a seat because it used to have a seat on there. I actually put my little miniature figures on here and let them ride around. This is a knockoff. We have a few knockoffs, but these are the older ones, obviously. Everything in here is going to be from at least early 90s or older. Because uh, that's about when I stopped playing with cars in terms of beating them up. This has no date or brand name but it was one of my favorites to take around in the mud it's still got the original mud on it when I was a kid we used to live in a trailer park in the day and we would actually be around the trailer at the bottom of it just playing in big mud holes and here's another this is a Porsche turbo it's a knockoff but we had a lot of fun with it I bashed out all the windows in it. Oh, Majorette Ferrari. I yoinked off the back of it. But I shaved it. That was my thing. I didn't paint cars really. I did paint some of them, but I would peel off all the paint. I left the Ferrari logo on it though. It was once red. I don't know how I actually got that off, but I did because it was metal. That was a long, long time ago. Time flies. This is a Jaguar. Uh, as you can see, I like making convertibles. I chopped off the entire top of this too. Still got the opening doors. Uh, yeah, that's late 80s. This is yellowed over the years. This is an old Porsche. That's a knockoff. Sorry about the blur. I'm really trying to work on this camera. It's annoying me so bad with the autofocus. I'm actually saving up to get an actual Canon camera. I don't know when I'll get it, but uh, let's hope it's soon so I can 
do away with this autofocus bull crap, but this is an old matchbox, I believe. No, actually, this is the Z Company, Xylex or whatever. Not really sure, but this is an older one. Sadly, I destroyed it, but it, yeah, I had some old cars even when I was a kid. Probably from yard sales from my parents would take us. Oh, I remember this car. This is the night 2000. I shaved all the paint off of it too. This is actually from the 80s. Early 80s. Uh, this is Universal Studios. Yeah, I took all the paint off of that. Kind of like the Knight Rider car. This is a Ferrari Hot Wheels. In decent shape considering I smashed the top of it. This was a color changer. Still might work. All metal, what's left of it. This is a Matchbox Dodge Dakota. I, uh, you'll get a notice this is what I did with vehicles once I go through a bunch of them. I tend to take out the glass and or make them convertibles. Hence this car. I don't know what it was, but I just had a thing about taking the glass out of the cars. Uh, here's a old knockoff. Uh, safety first. Damn camera, I'm going to punch that camera. Old race car. I'm not going to spend too much detail and time in these older knockoffs, but I will at least show you what they look like. <laughs> Speaking of the knockoffs, I really completely destroyed this one. This is the result of a hammer. <laughs> oh wow, I wish I wouldn't have tore this one up. This is an older road champions from the 80s. It was actually in really good shape until I literally disassembled it. I don't even, it only has one nick of paint on it. How I managed to tear it up without damaging the paint. This looks like a, yes, this is a Corvette. It's a knockoff, but uh, it does have opening doors, sort of. Uh, you can tell it's missing a door. Looks kind of like Yataming, but uh, I don't think it is. And you can see how it's totaled. It is off frame. The BMW. A lot of these are exotic cars because I, I loved my exotic cars. Still do. Here is that NASA vehicle. In my last video, I got another one that's actually in mint condition. This is from my childhood. Uh, we got a wheel missing. This piece is missing and the cockpit is gone too. 1988. That's about right too. This was my news studio. I used this for uh, my TV shows in pretend land. And then destroyed it. Oops. Uh, this was actually a pretty looking, pretty cool looking car back in the day for a knockoff. Got the red, white, and blue. Just smashed. Here's the rat. This is the first edition, I believe, of the rat. It's missing a piece of the tail, but besides being really dirty. Mid late 80s. You can see those older rims there, at least late 80s, early 90s. Another Ferrari. This is bringing back memories because uh, I have not went through these for probably close to 27, 28 years. It was before we even moved to where we're at now. Here is a Hot Wheels Chevy Blazer. This is one of the rare Hot Wheels that they actually made opening doors. 
I was not really known for that. Majorette, Yatoming, even Matchbox does it. You don't really see too many Hot Wheels that does this. This is the Chevy Blazer. We had a rollover on this vehicle. I believe this is an older Porsche knockoff. And for those who's wondering, yeah, I had a long concrete pad that ran on top of a brick, you know, kind of like a brick wall that kept that from the porch. And that was my road, and I did everything with these cars on it. Sadly, that house is no longer around. It burnt to the ground after second or third owner after we moved out. But I had a lot of fun there. I would actually make cars tear up, even just fender benders like this. And then I would put all the paramedics around it and block the traffic and all kinds of cool stuff when I was younger. That's why you see some of these is not really heavily damaged, then some of them are. A Lamborghini with, I think that's gum from a long time ago. Here is an airplane. Uh, not entirely sure of what brand this is. Missing the cockpit. Don't know what that is, but cockpits usually break off on everything. Oh, that's an older vehicle. Made in Hong Kong. Ford. Front end until it gone. Another Lamborghini. What's left of it? A 57 Chevy, which is not in too bad a shape. It's actually still intact. It's, don't have much wear on it, really. How about a soft drink? Half of a truck. Some of the ones I destroyed came out kind of weird like this. This was all metal, but the plastic survived. For the bottom, uh, there's not really much on it. So it's made in China. This was a very unusual car, made in China, but I had fun with it. Y'all remember this car? Cabriolet. <laughs> For overall, I really did not destroy this too bad. It's not even really destroyed. It's off the B pillars though, you see that. But uh, that's actually, ew, it's got old, very fossilized spider web in there. Old piece of a hot wheel vehicle for construction. Yes, I actually did have a little construction pit off to the side there, and I had all my construction vehicles in there digging. This is what's left of a mesh box. Old race car. A piece of a dump truck. Yeah. When you throw them pretty hard, uh, they will break off. It's not that I didn't love my toys. It's just that's how I played with them. And it was the only thing that my parents really didn't mind me destroying when I was a kid. So I had a lot of fun doing it. This is a crane. It's missing the actual crane, but... China. Oh, this is a nice car. Let's just see if we can focus on this damage, the carnage that I put into this. Solid metal frame and body. This is why I like the solid metal cars. I literally beat the crap out of that and it still stay together, but how cool does this look like for a wreck? I mean, it looks like a wrecked car. You can't do that today, at least with a lot of them. They'll just shatter right in pieces. Here is a Matchbox Pepsi. It's an older one from the early 80s. Smashed it with a hammer. That one, I think, tumbled down a hillside. 
got a dozer. Still has a rubber tread on it. Well, 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 my old road, road champions limousine. Yeah, I had some road champions because that was the common vehicle for around the area. And uh, they were the same price or so as a regular Hot Wheel Matchbox. This is a cool car. Sadly, it's missing a wheel. Actually, you know, besides the wheel missing, it's not really too bad a shape, is it? NASA Space Shuttle. I still love my NASA today. This is the Earl. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen these. This is solid metal. Do that in here. Matchbox Camaro or Firebird. But I was unique on my Rex too. I like dented the metal to make it look like a little fender bender. It's still on there. That's just how I did it back then. Here's another space shuttle. Oh, this is a nice space shuttle. Back in, I didn't pay attention to the brand names. But now that I see, this has the Z on there with metal wheels. But I did manage to break off the fin to the back of it. United States. Now I'm collecting any cars I find that has that Z on her, because they're usually retro vintage cars. Here's a nice beat up car for you. It definitely sustained some damage. It has no brand name, but the door, as you can tell, used to open. Uh, made in, actually it just says crane truck on it. It's a definite older one. All these are old. Ooh, a Mustang. I painted this one a little red and smashed up. I wish this was in intact shape, but I have another one of these in my actual collection. So luckily I was able to find another an ambulance with stuff of it. Yeah, they would get wrecked up too. This is a knockoff car, but I really played the crap out of it. There were some cars I really, really came attached to. This is one of them. You can see how the paint is all worn on it. And it didn't really get too destroyed. Except the whole front end's gone. Another Porsche. Just a bunch of random cars. The wheels tend to break off whenever I was playing with them. Y'all know I like Corvettes, but this Corvette didn't make it. But we still have it. <laughs> wow. I remember this. Okay, so, uh, you see the black char on this van? <laughs> I burned it. <laughs> I mean, I tried to make it like a vehicle look like on fire, and I remember getting in trouble because uh, my parents saw me playing with fire on the outside, and this was in the fire. <laughs> but I made sure not to get the bottom part burned up, but you can see it definitely got it all charred up. I think I got grounded for doing that. Here's a Corvette Majorette. Here's another example of me chopping off the top of them. Ooh. Fessler. <laughs> it's a Jeep and pretty sure it raised road champions. Yep. But uh, this is not in too bad a shape. I could uh, probably actually fix this. 
it's got a slight bend in it. This may even be uh, kind of a collectible. It has no chips on it. It still actually looks fairly good. Uh, it says coyotes on it. No date, but uh, I rest assure you it's at least 1990-91. At the absolute newest little uh, police truck. And I do mean little, that's a little truck. There's a wheel to a vehicle, 57 Chevy. That one didn't get to stay to the frame, it busted right off. And uh, here's another, here's a truck that's broken. What's left of a fox body Mustang. It's all smashed. I wasn't kidding folks, uh, in my videos I do explain and bring up the days when I play with my cars. This is why I did, uh, I destroyed them. Not all of them, there's still cars I got today that I didn't destroy. I got a couple hundred of them that's actually in decent shape still that I somehow managed not to destroy. But these I put all together because I just didn't really play with them too much more. This is a nice 57 Chevy. If I can get the wheel back on the Kuchima gadget there, this is a probably a nice collectible. I like that green. Good thing I didn't destroy that too bad. The BMW 3 Series. I had a 3 Series several years ago. Then I bought another 3 Series and just got rid of it after 5 years of a lot of maintenance on that. I still like my BMWs, but I'm going to hold off driving one of them again for a while. Stick to my Audis. This is a nice knockoff with such of it. I like this paint job for it though. If y'all see something interesting, uh, let me know what you think or what your opinion about some of these cars. Is there a rare one that I might have here that I don't know? I do have some off brands here. Please, fan. If there's something that catches your eye, just please feel free to leave me a comment. I will respond to every and any comment on there, even the negative ones. I had this as a kid, but I'm not sure where it's from. Do you know what this is? It don't even say anything on it. It's just a solid plastic car. Looks like Road of Thunder or something. Oh, well, look at this. This one is broken, but here's another one of these 57 Chevys. Oh, yes, the Hardee's Happy Meal car. I'm trying to collect these now because uh, they're collectible. They're from 1990, 91. Basically, if it's old, I will collect it. Here's another one in red Porsches. I believe that's a Porsche. Or Ferrari. Those off models is kind of hard to tell. Here's a Road Champions, I believe. Yes. It's how the Road Champions are racing champions. Just missing the tailgate, but besides that, it's not too bad a shape. piece of a matchbox construction vehicle. Here's a car I painted with white out. <laughs> this is another one of them big race cars by Matchbox. For some reason when I was a kid I wasn't too fond of this casting. This cause is so wide and awkward. Every one of them I had I destroyed one way or another. This one I decided to paint white. But now, I can't even find one of those. I have not found one that's in good shape unless I cheat, which I try not to do. This is a nice Yataming. 
forgive me if I'm not saying that right, but that's why I call these because I don't know the true name of them. But this is a nice 4x4 truck. It's all metal. Just some cracks in the glass. It's salvageable for a vintage vehicle. What do y'all think? The wheels are not too bent up either. That's not bad. Oh, yes. Camaro or Firebird. I believe it's a fire, Firebird because of the paint scheme on that it had. You can tell this is a vintage original. It's just your basic older car that I took the inside out of. Holy moly! This is my old RV from 1990 Road Champions. <sighs> wow, if stories can talk. <laughs> In fact, I'll tell you a story about this. We had a little hillside where we lived at and I constructed a little, constructed a little road, made this go off the road and tumble multiple times. That's why I beat the holy crap out of the front end of it. But uh, I wish I still had this in good shape because this is an all metal casting and I like my campers and fans and buses. This might be why I like them because I had so much fun with them. I had this thing for a long time until I destroyed it, which that might have been when I stopped destroying them because I realized, hey, I can't play with it no more. In fact, let's just put him over here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I didn't know I had Kitco's back then. I'm actually trying to collect these. I'm going to put this with my other Kitco's. And then I'll put it right back here because I want to keep them all together. But I'm about to do a Kit Kitco. Is that what you call that, Kitco? I'm about to do a little short video about those here in the next few weeks. I only got like 10 or so. But we review each one of them and I'll make sure this Corvette is in it. How about that? A little, a little treasure. Here's a turbo. A little Camaro. Yes, yeah, so back then it was even common to have your knockoff cars. But back then the knockoffs were not really too bad to play with. They were at least decent. Road Champions 1982. That's an old Road Champions. Made in Hong Kong also. This would be a true collectible if it was in mint, pristine condition. Because uh, that's got to be one of the first few years that company even been around, right? All metal on metal. That's a nice casting besides missing the doors. So see, I had some old cars when I was a kid. Here's a little coop. Now, we lived beside a neighbor who gave me a couple vintage cars, but I was told not to ever destroy them, and I still have them to this day. One is a 57 Chevy, and uh, we'll be we'll try to make that a video of that one day. It was vintage whenever I was a kid. Here's a, another piece of a car. A Range Rover. It definitely had a pretty severe accident, what do you think? <laughs> Late 80s, early 90s, that might be the first year they even came out with the Rover. Uh, Rampage. See, th this is a knockoff, but it's made more durable than, of course, today. So, uh, there's that. Here's a nice Ferrari. And it's actually, oops, in not too bad a shape. Just a cracked windshield. Number 18. That was a higher number than my age back then. And here's another Ferrari. And this is number 18 also. It didn't make off as quite as the green one did. I even managed to break the wing on the back of this one.
you're away. It's a van. Made in China. Ooh, a Jaguar. Made in Thailand. This is late 80s, early 90s. Missed in the windshield. It's a 414. Piece of a dump truck. That's probably where the bed actually used to go to that I had earlier. yellow BMW somehow missing the wheels I was the expert at getting those wheels off wasn't I here's another one of them safety cars the front end is just about broken off of it so we'll be gentle with that one another Ferrari I can just tell by the back end I don't know where the rest of that Ferrari is, though. The Major at Nissan 300. Most Majorettes do have the opening doors. It's not too bad a shame, is it? It's got some. Looks like working headlights, too. It does have some damage here. It's missing a piece of it. This is an older Majorette. Back in the day, you could buy Majorettes at any toy store. Just like today with the Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Only they had a smaller selection of cars to choose from. And they had Yatamings also. You could buy them a bashed up matchbox car. We put this thing through a lot. Now you can find Majorette in stores today. I don't think you still find any Yatamings though. Here's a pink car. It has that Audi logo on it. This is an old Audi. Yee! Joy! A customized Ford Blazer. I chopped the top off. Pot Wheels. I know all y'all are saying I didn't have a lot of hobo cars, did I? I'm beginning to realize that. <laughs> no, actually, I kept a lot of my Hot Wheels cars, but didn't destroy them as bad as these. This is one of the older police cars. That blue paint job. You can tell I chopped the top off of that, too. This is your basic generic car that actually survived my childhood. Wow, this is uh, definite memories. My black wall school bus. You see that little piece of paper? I put that in there between the windows. It says for sale. And uh, I did that also on this side, but let me cover my old phone number. <laughs> I put my old phone number on here in case someone wanted to buy it. Porsche, slightly painted. Piece of a Jeep, most likely road champions. Oh, you all know what that is. That's a funny car, half of it. Here is a piece of a matchbox truck. It's an older one. Hmm. Tomokia. Tomo I can't really say that word, but. Tomokia. This was actually a truck with a bed on it. 
This was an old Toyota. And then this was an old punch buggy. Had a little plastic convertible on it. Little top. But I didn't like the convertible. I mean, I didn't like to have cars or head tops on them, obviously. Another piece of a construction truck. I think this was a Yataming, but I'm not quite sure. It looks like one into every detail, but it don't say. I think sometimes they did not put the name on them. I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Is that just a really nice knockoff? Matchbox Mercedes. Made a super convertible. It has no windshield. Besides the windshield missing and the funked out headlights, this thing's pretty good shape. There's the base to that one's Jeep, I bet. There's the Nissan. This is a Hot Wheels. What's left of it? Oh boy. It's a Thunderbird. Hot Wheels. Tragically, it's seen my play days. Now, let me just give you an example. This is a good example of how solid these cars were. Okay, so the tires are plastic and solid. Look how flattened I got that tire. <laughs> Before, after. That's how much pressure I put on this car when smashing it. And it's still together. Here's a knockoff Nomad. You don't find them like that no more. Who knows, some of these old knockoffs could be even valuable and collectible too. I just have no idea because I don't look them up. Don't really have a way to look them up. This is... It says Lucky on it. But I definitely played with it when I was a kid. It's a little miniature Firebird. Do y'all know anything about this particular car? Yeah, sadly I took glass out of it too. But uh, you can see how much smaller it is compared to the cars. That's probably not a good example. There we are. This is a better example. It's just a smaller car. Cute though. Matchbox Chevy Blazer. Can't go wrong with those. This one's not in too bad a shape considering the wheel is almost off the hubcap there. Or tires off the wheel. Here's another police car. Smashed and bashed. And I remember you could buy these in the stores back in the day just like that before getting smashed of course it says 77 but folks don't be fooled it's not that old but it is mid late 80s they just use that same date on the castings every time they reuse the casting that's what throw a lot of people off when collecting hot wheel cars this is a color changer ferrari Still got my old dirt and mud on it. I painted this car with a marker. 57. That was a number I used a lot of time because that's my dad's birth year. And it's also the 57 Chevy. And it's just a number that I always like. Uh, you can see 1991 on there I put that 91 back in 1991 so that tells y'all how old these are you know that is a long time ago now what was that 
30 years now. Shoot, boy, how do I even want to think about that one? That was when I was really young. There's a safari or a fire truck. It's a little fire on there. You damn camera. Focus. I'm going to try to put these cars back here because it may be trying to auto focus on these cars in the front. I love these Majorette Corvettes because they're just so big. But unfortunately, I think every one of them got destroyed when I was a kid. If I find them today, I will buy them. Yes. As long as they're not $50 a piece. Here is a Yatami. I do remember buying this in a KB Toys in the Town Center Mall. I miss KB. KB Toys and Toys R Us, Hex, Heels. Those were the places to get your cars. Here's another one of them school buses. This one tragically did not survive completely like the other bus. Well, well, well. I actually do have one that's intact. You got a Matchbox collection. I'm sure you got that in there. This is definitely one of the older ones. Blacked out Lamborghini with no insides or windshield. Off brand car. Piece of an old race car. Another one of them construction trucks. I don't know how, but I managed to really destroy these. Wow, this is a collectible, isn't it? It's a white wall, Hot Wheels. And surprisingly, out of all things, the glass survived. How is that possible? The running boards are gone. Well, on that one side they are. The top's gone. This is a definite older 80s Hot Wheel car. This is an older race car. You can see the little driver in there. Here's another Yata Ming. Uh, I probably got that in the retail store too before I destroyed it. It was kind of like a little hatchback. Here's an older Matchbox Jeep Eagle. How I managed to get the windshield bent that away, I'm not quite sure. That hammer had a way of magically damaging these vehicles, didn't it? Uh, there's a really battered big rig. It still has two wheels on it. This is a Matchbox school bus. Oh, where's the bottom? painted or not painted but unpainted Mustang it took me hours to really scrape off some of the paint on these cars when I was a kid there's a Ferrari I remember one of them I took a penny and I was just <laughs> scraping it off that away this used to be a dump truck it's missing the dump made in Hong Kong that's an older casting. A little race car. Anything I see made in Hong Kong is definitely usually 80s or older. Oh wow. P 
Pennzoil Funny Car top. Uh, I know that bottom part don't go to this because this is in nice shape. If y'all can let me know what time period that is, that would be great. The Pennzoil. This is in really nice shape. It's just got some dirt on it and maybe one little chip of paint. Oh, from there too. Sadly, that got broke off. If I can find the bottom, though, I might be able to get back on there. Road Champions. There's no disguise on that, is there? Orange plastic. Here is my Doom Buggy from my childhood. This thing, this thing was made so solid, I even hit it with a hammer or two, and it's still intact because it's just so thick. I wasn't that strong back when I was a kid. You, you had to be strong to beat the holy crap out of these cars. Matchbox. Another Dakota. Painted red. I used a lot of red and black because that's about the only colors I had back then. Here is another one in Midnight Cars. And this is a green Play Doh. It's on this car. But other than the Play Doh, I do believe this could be a collectible. There's no cracks on it. The paint is good. Bottom is good. At least I didn't destroy this one. That is pretty cool. I, I thought I had two of those. There's another Corvette. This is the white one. Chopped. <laughs> All of them are like that. <laughs> Just your basic race car. Another Porsche. Here is a Thunderbird, I believe, a Turbo Coupe, T Bird. Missing a wheel. It's always that same wheel in it. Metal on metal. That was a solid car. Here is a Corvette. This is the Yatami. I do remember buying that in a store too, or I got it for Christmas. It was new when I got it. But anytime I find these now, I will buy them because I know they're old and it brings back my memories. Play art. I didn't know I had to play art. See, I didn't pay attention to these brand names, really. I couldn't be like, hey mom, go get me some actual Hot Wheel cars. I would have got, I would have gotten in trouble if I would have been like that, of course. But this is a cool taxi, made in Hong Kong, Chevy Caprice. Is that a rear car or not? I think it is, because <laughs> I just even never even seen one of them besides the one I played with, without realizing what I had. Another knockoff, but this one is in my shape. Probably because I didn't play with it. Here is a crane made in China. And uh, guess what, folks? It's still all together and uh, it's not beat up. So this is a good little vintage piece. Matchbox. That's metal, and yeah, it got ripped off. Not sure how I managed that one, but I did. This is a Yasuming Blazer. The doors are gone on that too. A yellow blazer. All the front end's gone too. The funny thing is. Kind of strange, but see this old white residue? I would actually take a bath with my some of my cars and I would keep it 
in the bathtub in the corner for a while and I put soap balls over it and it give it that rusty effect. That's what that is. If you do it so many times and let it dry and then go back and get it each day, that's one way of getting them to corrode fast. Here is a cool casting that's actually all together. <laughs> I don't even really remember too much about this. It has no brand name on it. Still has the missiles on it. Oops. I think it might be missing a missile. Besides that, it looks like it's some brand new shape. There's a T-Bird smashed. Believe it or not, this one did not have B-pillars, so it's not broken, it's just caved in. I got another one just like it that's in mint condition that I got in a box of cars. When I see these older ones in a big box of cars that I know are from this time period, and I happen to catch a glimpse of some other old ones, I will immediately right there try to see if they'll sell the whole box. And nine times out of ten, they will let me buy the whole box without even going through it. And it's a score because usually I find a whole bunch of stuff in there for next to nothing. Got a crane truck. Sorry, my camera filled up the space, so we had to start over on another camera. We are recording a different version, different way, so we can record this in 4K. Hoping that we'll fix this autofocus. It's an older race car that is actually in decent shape. Here is a nice vintage knockoff, huh? This might even be a collectible. Big wide body generic car. This is probably that bottom of that funny car. This is the Eagle version of it. Not sure where I put that at, but it's in here somewhere. If y'all saw my last video with my 400 vintage Hot Wheels, I got one of these in better condition in it. This is from my childhood. It's just missing half the grill. See, we're going to still have issues with that autofocus. We are about done. There's not really a whole lot left here, but this was a majorette Sonic Flasher. This is just the shell of the ambulance. With a smashed up Camaro or Firebird, whichever you want to call it. Both about the same in terms of these castings. Got a race car. Now this was unusual, and sadly it did get broken. This is a majorette plastic body, and uh, it, I think it got broke in the box while it was sitting for so long because it was not broken when I put it in there. I'd never played with this because it was plastic. I was afraid to, but this is probably a collectible now. This is from late 80s, early 90s. And it's a quad cab majorette plastic truck. Orange Jeep shell. Another race car. Race cars I had really didn't make it too well. You see that right here. This I felt since it's a race car, it's going to get destroyed. Here's the RX-7. This race car has the dude in it. Made in China. We had a lot of fun with this car. I remember it, but then it got totaled and broke. I don't think I remember breaking it, but it did break. 
Uh, that did happen a lot. I, those cars I wanted to get destroyed but not totally break. Here's a yellow car that actually survived fairly well. In fact, this is actually not in bad shape. I like this car because I used to bowl in the YBA bowling leagues when I was a kid. And the ABC is on here, American Bowling Congress. That's what I pretended this to be. It was uh, a pro pretty cool car. And if you see this 900 on the back of it, in bowling, if you bowl three 300 games, that's a 900 series. So, uh, mid four, whatever that says, but it's not really intended for bowling. However, it does go with it. Here is another knockoff Porsche. Here's another one of them convertibles. They got a side impact. But see what I mean there? I mean, this was even a knockoff car, and we whacked it good. Managed to bend it, but it still stayed on the plastic frame. Try that today. <laughs> Here's another off-brand car. And then we got another Camaro here. This one still has the glass in it. And another Nissan with one door missing. A race car, five Demon. And another old beat up jalopy. There's also a little tiny Ferrari Tootsie in here. This is the newer Tootsies that came out in the 80s. This is the piece of that Ferrari, the hatchback that came off. And here's the front of a piece of a Mercedes. Just for the heck of it, this is from when I was a kid. Great schedule. Answer is a dollar. Answers which require thought, two dollars. Correct answers, four dollars. Dumb looks are still free. <laughs> I, I had a habit of making these weird things, and this is a long time ago. This is the bottom of this box. A little treat for y'all for making it all the way to the end of the video. I, did, I forgot that it was even in there. We thank you for watching Next Level Toys. Until then, uh, happy hunting out there. Goodbye.